So we stop again to interview. He says, Oscar, what's going on? Mm. And Oscar says, it's the first time I've ever stood straight in my life. Wow. Standby program. Camera's rolling. Fade in audio. I said the ball is a miracle. We want to welcome you to Behind the Signs, where you will hear the untold stories of the harvest. Today, I'm so blessed and honored to have with us Mr. A.B. Scragg. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Uh, it's an honor. It's an honor to be here. Listen, the honor is ours. You've been to several gospel campaigns as part of the prayer team. Talk to us a little bit about, from your perspective, what it means to be part of the prayer team. Just watching God move on, on the people, it just you're never the same. No matter how many trips you go on or how many people you pray for and you see God heal them and touch them, there's always more. Amen. There's Amen. always more. Amen. You know, the Lord tells us he takes us from glory to glory, mm -hmm. to his presence, to his presence. Yes, yes. And his heart and his desire and his love for us is just overwhelming. Amen. Uh, Amen. I know off camera I spoke to you a little bit about the uh, altar call in El Salvador mm -hmm. too. Uh, when that altar call happened, just the presence of the Lord and just seeing everybody come forward. The uh, Bible talks about He will seal you with the Holy Spirit Amen. that moment of salvation. Amen. I could see that happening, and it just changed my heart because I had to get a little recalibration mm. because I was getting to the point, that, and I love it. I love everything God does, but I was getting to the point I want to go on the crusades to see who God's going to heal next. Amen. Amen. But he just reminded me who he was, who he is. That's it. He is salvation. Amen. He is love. Yes, he is. And it's about the souls. Amen. It is that. about the souls. Amen. It's about the souls. It's about bringing the kingdom of heaven into manifest form into a region, a nation that might be going through violence. There's so much corruption going on, but yet in the midst of that, the Holy Spirit will show up and he will bring salvation and he will bring healing and miracles start to break forth. We're about to see a miracle that I believe has been seen literally around the world. And as we watch it, I want you to talk to us about your experience, what led to this miracle. Let's watch this miracle right now. Nathan, this is Oscar, and if ever I heard of the power of testimony, it's right here. Nathan, este es Oscar, y este es un testimonio poderoso que yo he escuchado. For 43 years, he's had a, 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 a spine that's been bent. Por 43 años, su espina dorsal ha estado torcida. He's, he's not been able to walk with a straight back for no 43 years. No ha podido years. caminar con su espalda derecho. God touched him. Dios lo tocó. He can walk straight Y ahora out. puede caminar Amen. derecho. He went to church this morning Fue and testified. Fue a la iglesia esta mañana para testificarlo. And four people got healed. This, <laughs> this, this is awesome right here. Here, talking about his walking into church. Yes. Of course, the video will get a little further into that. But my wife, Billy, is Facebook friends with Oscar to this day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he goes around and he gives his testimony and ministers the gospel. Wow. <laughs> Lord is using him so mightily that's to incredible. Touch, touch him. See, that's incredible because as we see the testimony, now he's speaking what the Lord did in his life. And that's the power of the testimony. Yeah. Yeah. The testimony is not only for him, but it's for others that will hear what God did and miracles will break forth. The next day, four other miracles came from just hearing the testimony. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. So Mr. A.B., talk to us about how you actually prayed for Oscar. Okay. Because in the places that sometimes we don't expect to move, God is there and he's moving. Talk to us about that. Well, as you roll the video a little further, Oscar's going to show you how he used to walk. Okay, let's watch that part. Let's watch that part. And the emphasis is on use. With this cane, with, with that 
with that hace, king. Hace diez años, it's been 10 years. Eh, la columna se, las the se vertebras the backbone they've been crushed. Los nervios se salieron de la the vertebra. nerves came out of the vertebrae. Y eso me causaba un dolor horrible. And they caused a horrible pain Con, in me. Constante todos los días. Two friends were with him. And uh, so they ran forward to talk to our translator and ask if we would pray for him. And we said, sure. I mean, what else are you going to say? Of course. <laughs> so Oscar comes up and I grab Oscar's hand and pray for him like this. My wife, Billy, goes around, puts her hand upon his back. Mm. So at this point, I'm praying and I'm companioned vertebrae, nerves, I'm speaking to it yeah. in the name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus. So Oscar starts uh, shaking, and I'm, so I said, well, I need to stop an interview. What's going on, Oscar? Of course, so, of course. So Oscar tells the translator, well, I always shake. Okay, okay. So I'm at this point, I'm going like, <laughs> okay. okay, God. <laughs> so all of a sudden, and a suddenly, Holy Spirit drops into my spirit ask for a miracle wow wow so at that point there's nothing else to say lord we ask for a miracle mm -hmm. so oscar starts crying so we stop again to interview so oscar what's going on mm. and oscar says it's the first time i've ever stood straight in my life wow <laughs> now we're looking right at oscar and i did not my eyes wide open mm. did not see him stand straight my wife, she didn't feel him stand up straight. He was just upright. My God, my God. And so, and as, as it continues, it talks about what Oscar's doing today and stuff. We've, we've already covered that. Yes, yes. But it's just absolutely just, just standing back and watching God just wow. absolutely touch his life. And I'm going to go, I'm going to speak it out millions of people's lives. Amen. Because that's right. What God did there, He can do for every single person. That is right. That is right. Show the people how you used to walk. And so this is how you saw Him walking. You yes, saw Him walking this like is this. How, this is my first sight of Oscar at a distance, about 15 feet. Show them what Jesus did last Walk. His hands raised, walking without a cane. Praising the name of Jesus. I'm just so blessed to see that. I love what you're saying. You said, God, give us a miracle. And I believe that it's hunger that places a demand for the Holy Spirit to move. There was hunger in your heart, hunger in your spirit. And I believe that when God brings healing, it's his goodness. It's his goodness that is manifested in these miracles. Mr. A.B., talk to us about just the point of you were about to leave the stadium. You were not going to pray for this man. As a matter of fact, I think our leader was telling us we had to go. <laughs> and see, and I love this story because God will move in areas that it's just common. But in the common place, we will see an uncommon God do what only he can do. Talk to us just a little bit about that point of view. We're getting ready to leave. They're calling you. We got to go. But you feel that the Lord is compelling you to pray for this man. Yes, sir. Well, at that point, again, it's, uh, it's Scott Bodker who's like herding cats whenever he's trying to get it because of what we saw God do that night when you start walking through the crowd, the glory of God's lighting people up and people are being healed mm -hmm. left and right. And, and uh, it just absolutely, you're just, just uh, overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. It's as if, <laughs> I know you this, you're walking in an envelope of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're just enveloped completely by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so you've, you've, you've seen a lot. Yes, sir. And uh, so, and that sometimes it's hard to get off the field mm -hmm. when people start leaving. You just want to just stand there. Yes. And just look, God, God, mm -hmm. you've allowed me to be at this spot Amen. and to see you touch these people. Yes. I give you glory. I give you glory. Amen. 
So it's that that rhema mm. of God, that rhema word comes to life. Mm. It, I'll probably go a little off to the side here. Please, please. First Corinthians twelve. I think it's a 9 and 10, talks about, as he wills, of course, a little later, gift of healing. And then it says, gift of miracles. I used to read that all the time, mm. thinking, why did God stutter? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just said healings, they said miracles. What's the separation, Lord? Yeah. What's the separation? And he just showed me. Mm. He just he showed me just to be obedient to Him. Amen. To listen to Him mm -hmm. and watch Him work. Just watch Him work because wow. He will take you from glory to glory. Yes, He will. I love that. I love that. Mr. A.B. says it's about just being obedient. Can we hear the heartbeat of the Father? He wants to save, He wants to heal, and He wants to set people free. Until next time, this has been Behind the Sign. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.